Welcome, Dragon Disciples and Wyvern Warriors, to another episode of Draconis Gold Gaming. I'm your host, Draconis Gold, the Golden Dragon, and we are starting a new uh, Seven Days to Die Alpha 16 Experimental. Uh, sometime during the night last night, they came out with uh, Alpha 16, Bravo 119, and the last one was, I think, Bravo 113. Um, and with this one, they definitely recommend that you start a new game. I apologize. I, it is out of my control. This is the Fun Pimps, and we knew this was experimental when we started. We knew we might have to restart again, and uh, so here we are. We're restarting again. Looks like at least this time we're starting in a decent biome. Um, starting over in the green biome. Sorry, I had to get my timer started there. Uh, still trying to get my timer started. Okay, <laughs> got it going now. Thanks, guys. Sorry for sorry about that. Um, anyway, we're gonna get started in this uh, game. Just started up. I also had an update to my OBS, and it took me a few minutes to finally get it working. I had to do display capture, so it's dis it is doing the capture of my primary display right now. So if I get any pop-ups, they're gonna show up on screen. I apologize until I can get this latest OBS figured out. Um, we'll just have to deal with it. So anyway, here we go. So starting out in the game, obviously we're going to get started doing just what they want us to do, punching grass. Hopefully there won't be any bears or uh, wolves or anything like that nearby that we have to deal with. Hopefully they got that worked out. There should not be any near a spawn point. It just makes this game really weird if they do that. They used to give you a little bit of a grace period. Um, they even gave you a grace period from the zombies, but that's not even true anymore. Um, now it's gotten to the point where if there's a little house nearby, you could end up with a zombie first thing, which, eh, I don't know. I don't really agree with that. Oh, look at that. I love this distance rendering. There is a house on top of that hill over there, and that's probably where we're going to go to as soon as we get these uh, tutorial missions finished up. Let's go ahead and craft a bedroll like they want us to do shouldn't take but a moment i am not sure what is in this new update guys i apologize i am recording this at like 6 21 6 30 in the morning somewhere around there um and they've just released it to the best of my knowledge i couldn't get on the fun pimp site it kept telling me that i could not access it i could access anything else so maybe they were updating the site at the time um anyway we'll throw that bedroll down all right um let's go ahead and pick up a stone Let's see what else we can find here. Pick up another stone. Alright. Told you, uh, with me having the camera on, y'all get to watch me make funny faces and, and uh, see me crook my head at the screen trying to figure out how to make things. And you'll see me do this if there's Zeds and... Um, I make all kinds of weird faces when I'm playing this game. Matter of fact, when I'm playing something like Madden Football on the Xbox, I, my wife laughs at me because I kick my leg when I'm when I am uh, playing the game, and I'll end up pushing the footstool way away from me when I was doing it on the couch. Now I'm doing it in a recliner, so it's not quite the same. Oh, bird's nest! Yes, need that. Oh, 21. I like it. All right, we should have enough now to craft a stone axe. Yes, we do. Craft. Let's get that puppy. All right, we'll move the bottle water over here. Get the can of chili over here. Put the first aid bandage here. Land claim block here. Um, just based on a few little forum messages that I saw, there's a possibility that the land claim block now will be required in single player if you're going to be going into a POI. Uh, because you want to keep the Zeds from spawning in your POI. So you have to do the land claim block there to, to make sure that they don't do that. All right, let's go ahead and get a little bit of wood. I mean, while the clothes are uh, crafting, we can go ahead and get some wood. Obviously, we're not going to get much wood out of these trees with a level 25 stone axe. Uh, that is one of the things about Alpha 16. If you've seen my other videos, you know, um, with the lower level axes, you're not going to get as many resources. 
then as you level up and you get like a level 100 axe, you get more resources out of a tree. And the higher you go, the more resources you get. So um, it does make a difference in, in how high or what level your axe is. We're going to go down here and get this next tree. And then we're going to get that rock. And then we should be set. All right, it wants me to wear the clothes that I just got. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. Looking good so far. All right, we'll get this tree. We'll get the rock down the hill there. And then we'll go see what we can find over at that house over there. Because I think that's going to be a good place for us to go. Just to craft a wooden club. We'll do that. Oh, that's a, that is a bow. We don't need that yet. Now we'll need the wooden bow. Come on, give me the mission. Give me the mission. There we go. And some arrows. Wooden bow down here. Switch to the bow. Reload it. Switch to the axe and continue. Alright guys, I have to take a short break. I'll be right back. Alright guys, sorry about that. Um, my wake-up alarm was going off. I had to go turn it off. I'm normally not up this early, but with my wife going to work early today, I had to get up. So I figured I might as well come in here and excuse me, record an episode. So while I was recording, I heard my alarm going off over in the other room. And I figured I better go take care of that. Alright. Um, so far, so good. Go ahead and finish getting this rock, and we'll get the three wood frame thing going on. Um, let's see here. Let's make another stone axe. Let's scrap that one. Put that one down, and let's go ahead and finish this one up. My wife, who I recently got to playing the game, was trying to do a Alpha 16 by herself as a new player, and it is quite tough for a new player, especially one that's new to PC gaming, to get going in the game now. Um, as I said, you don't really get quite the same uh, grace period as you used to get, and the wolves, uh, she ended up getting killed by a wolf in the first day, lost her backpack. She was out in the middle of the water, got attacked by a wolf out in the middle of the water, lost her backpack, and so fortunately she didn't get discouraged about it, but I can see how a new user might get discouraged over something like that, so hopefully the, the fun pimps will address that. If not in a, if, if not before they release Alpha 16, then in the patch shortly thereafter, because that could be discouraging for a lot of new players, and, and uh, we want to get more people playing this game. This is such a great game. I have gotten several people who are now addicted to it. <laughs> I've gotten several people into the game, and, and now they are addicted to it. So, um, I am an ambassador of Seven Days to Die. That is for sure. I do love it. I love playing it. I love telling people about it. It's just, I don't know, it's just a great game. All right, let's get down here and see what we can find in the shopping cart. Nothing. It's just an empty shopping cart. So we are going over to that house over there, guys. Let's see what we can find. Hopefully we will not die along the way. I don't really see anything over here that ought to kill us. That's interesting. We're out on the road, and off to the side there, look, we've got a gravel path that just kind of like follows the hillside on the other side of the lake. Uh, that's wood. I don't need that right now. Just weave back and forth, picking up rocks. Alright, let's get a move on. This is, uh... You guys don't want to see me just wandering down the road. You want to see me looting things, killing things, having a good time. And we're going to have a good time. I hope you guys enjoy my videos. I do enjoy making them. 
I enjoy playing this game. I enjoy playing the other games, but I, I tell you, I just always come back to this one. Uh, Seven Days to Die is my favorite. It is the most number of hours I have spent in any game on Steam. Probably the most number of hours I've spent in any game other than maybe Skyrim. I put a lot of hours into Skyrim. But I do think I have put more hours into Seven Days to Die. Or if not more hours, at least the same amount. Or close to it. Ooh, I like that house up there. That house is going to be nice. We're going to have to get up there. Oh, damn it. That is a big wolf. Look at the size of that thing. That, is, that could kill us easy. Oh, we're going to need more ammo. And I don't plan on taking him on. I plan on ignoring him and, and moving around him. Oh, ah, of course he's going to come out in the road. Right where I don't need him to be. Come on, fun pimps. you got to do a little better than this. you got to give us a little chance at the start here. Screw it. I'll go out in the water and go around him. At least that's the plan. Let's see if I can get around him without tracking his attention. Yeah, I think I can get around him. Alright, I see Zeds on the opposite shore over there. Eh, don't see any underwater. I see a cave. That's interesting. Or what looked to be a cave. Yeah, we're gonna ease around that dire wolf. I am not ready to even take on a regular wolf, I don't think, so. A dire wolf would be way too much for me right now. And let's let our stamina regen a little bit. Let that go back up a touch. This should be clay over here where you see all of the golden rod and, and all of the other stuff. So I'm probably going to fashion a clay, sh or a clay shovel, a stone shovel to get the clay real quick so that when we have the opportunity to make a forge, we can make a forge because we have the clay for it. But got to get out of the water first. Alright, good. Let's do a shovel. Stone shovel. Cry out. Two, one, come on. Yes, that is clay. Good. Not going to get a lot yet, but at least I'll get enough to make the forge. Looks like that guy's wandering in my direction, so I've probably gotten his attention. Well, maybe not. Nope, undetected. Let's see if we can remain undetected. Let's see if we can remain undetected from him right now. What do we got? 91? I'm hearing somebody walking. Ah, it's her. Alright, we're going to get a little bit more clay. Then we're going to head up toward that house. Hopefully we can find a couple of short iron pipe up there. Gotta keep watching because they will sneak up on you. I apologize to you guys if, if on the video you see me leaning in because I do get uh, tense. I do get really into these games. And so I may be leaning toward the screen and, and might even lean out of frame <laughs> depending on what's happening. But uh, we'll see what we can come up with here. We're going to kind of skirt around. We're going to take out the, the smaller Z over here.
Wow, really? Okay, good. And she rolls into the water. Can I get her? Yeah. I need to wait for her gore block. I need to wait for her gore block. And it should pop up up the hill when she disappears because normally that's the way it works. Wherever they die, that's where their gore block shows up, even if their body rolls away. Yep, there we go. Like I said, bam. And I got a bone. Excellent. Excellent. I needed that bone shiv. Bone shiv. Recipes. Bone shiv. Craft that puppy. Yes, I love it. All right. So far, so good. So far, so good. I don't mind getting these little guys because they're very easy as you walk along just to hit them. And you get the you get the wood as you walk without having to use up a lot of stamina. And you don't get a lot of wood to begin with here in the beginning, so... It helps to go ahead and grab them as you go along. Alright, I'm going to kind of sneak up the hill a little bit. Ah, no I'm not. Thought I was. How did he see me? Really? Dude, stop weaving! You act like a weeble though, dude. Weebles wobble, but they don't fall down. Come on, die already. There we go, come on. Couple more in face. There we go. Oof. He had something on him. I think that may have been grain alcohol. I'm not sure. 29 arrows. Which, that's fine. Alright, let's follow the trail up here and see if we can get to this house. An egg. I need feathers. Come on, dude. Find me some feathers. Find me some feathers. And yes, I know I'm going up the hill. And I know that the house is up the gravel path. But I want to kind of look at it from up above. I want to be on high ground. So I can kind of scope. Well, I didn't. I ended up coming at it from below anyway. All right. Yep. You are who you are, aren't you? Okay. Got him. One down. This a forge house? I do believe it's a forge house, ladies and gentlemen. This is awesome. If this turns out to be a forge house, I am going to be very, very happy that I found this place right off the bat. Now, there are going to be some sleepers in here. And that's okay. We'll take care of them. Let's see if there's anybody around here. I don't see anybody nearby. So we're going to go ahead and break in. All right. Sneak around, see if we find any sleepers in here. 
none so far. How are we doing on wood? Alright, we need uh, wood frames. And they want us to make three of them. But we're going to make six right now. And we're going to make some ladders. We're going to make five of those. Alright, let's put our wood frames here. Put our ladders there. And the reason I do this, guys, is I like to I like to give myself a little bit of a place to hide. And actually, I did that a little too a little too high up. There we go. So anyway, back to what I was saying. What I want to do is this. And now I can get off on that, and I've got a place where I can kind of, um, it's kind of a hidey hole, a boat hole, if, if you will, but it's a place for me to come during the night that is secure, or even during the day, if need be. Um, no, I want one right now. Let's craft one. Let's wear the shades. Let's put the wood block down here. Yeah, that's what we want. Okay, so I need to upgrade three of these at least. How are we doing on wood? 41. Let's go ahead and do this. And we're going to craft a bedroll. We're going to craft a bedroll and we're going to put it down here. Come on. Brown shirt gives me plus two. And it's four, four, three. We can't repair it because we have no material yet. So once we get some material... Ooh, I can make some material. Recipes. Maybe I can't make cloth. Okay, that was weird. I clicked on this. I clicked on recipes. Oh, I'm on weapons. Do, 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 do. All right, there we go. Cloth fragment. Let's make three of those. Then let's repair the brown shirt. We'll see what happens with that anyway. And now the brown shirt is 776 and a plus 2. If we wear it, 776. It's about the same stuff. That is interesting. The durability of mine is a little bit lower. Yeah, we're going to scrap it. 7. Okay, guess I'm going to put it there. And yes, I did hear the Z outside, so we will... We will figure out what we've got out there in just a moment. Alright, we need to make a campfire. So that we can finish these up and find out where the trader is at. Give me the mission for the trader so I can look at my map. Alright, let's go see where the trader is. Oh my. Ooh, way down here. And yes, I did see a Zed just walking the door over there. That was pretty funny. 
And the reason I'm going ahead and marking the trader is I'm doing that before I forget because once you go visit the trader, he no longer shows up on your map. So you have to have a bookmark for him. All right, let's, uh, let's go take care of this Zed and any other Zeds that may be in here. I thought he was outside. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Oh, he scared the crap out of me. <laughs> oh. Kick. Oh, and there's another one. Skater punks are pretty tough. Alright, we have one coin on him. Alright, dude. That was not cool. You scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Alright, let's make a couple of wood frames and close this door up, because otherwise. Oh, I can't make any wood frames, I guess. Oh, it helps if you spell it right, Mark. Wood frame. I can make four of them, but I need to make two of them. There we go. Alright, now let's make sure that we don't have anybody else hiding up here. Make sure that we didn't get any respawns of any... Um, sleepers hopefully they fix that you know if you go into a building and you take the sleepers that are in the building and you kill them and then you step outside the building they should not respawn on you in that amount of time ah no forge really that is not cool that is not cool. Not cool at all. Oh, they moved it. They moved the forge. Oh, and this one's destroyed. Well, that sucks. Ooh, but it did have some iron on it. That's not bad. Wow. Cracking up a destroyed door, or an uh, open door. That's... <sighs> Sometimes I wonder about myself. I'm sure you guys wonder about me too. Breaking down a door that's already open. Alright, let's see what we get out of the fire. A little bit of coal. Alright, let's go through these and see if we can find... We never did find a pot in our previous uh, playthrough. I mean, obviously we didn't get very far in it, but still. A little bit of food. It's not bad. I would have preferred a pot. Beverage cooler. Alright. We'll get the candle. Break this open. Maybe there'll be something good in here. Maybe it's a working stiff. Ah, item needs repair. You know what? We're just going to repair it. Oh, it's a fridge bottom with some water. All right, I like that. Go ahead and get the cloth here. We'll go outside and get us some. Um, we're gonna go outside and get us some wood and stone before nightfall. All right. Um. 
wonder if we can make a storage chest. Well, no, we can make a storage chest, but the problem is... You know what? I am hearing another Zed outside. And we're going to need to go take care of that guy. Wherever he or she may be. It. Wherever it may be. Ooh, right here at the corner. I like this. Ladders. How many ladders can I make? Wood ladders. Two. I can make two wood ladders. That's not enough. Let's scrap that. Let's read this. Alright, let's, um... Let's save the chili. I don't want to do that right now. I need the cans, too, because I don't know how long it's going to be before... I don't need the maple seeds. Alright, now wooden ladder. Probably make three. Nope. Still two. Alright, that was our timer, guys. Um, looks like we're probably not going to be able to finish getting down here to the bottom in this episode. But we will definitely... Seven. Come on. There we go. There we go. All right. All right, guys. The Golden Dragon is heading back to the area. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit the like button. If you're new to the channel and you like my content, hammer on that subscribe button. We would greatly appreciate it. We need all the subscriptions we can get. Tell your friends, tell your neighbors, have them come by and subscribe. Doesn't cost them a dime. We do appreciate your contributions and donations, however. If you would like to support the channel, you can do that at our Patreon account. There will be a link to it here on the end screen. You can support us for as little as $1, and we would greatly appreciate it. For now, so long and fly safe.